Hey y'all, this is your boy Neil Retella. Just got up, man. Had to go use the bathroom, everything, man. I had a very powerful vision the Lord wanted me to share with you guys. Make a video very quick. Um, had to do with sexual immorality. And this vision that I had not too long ago, um, I was in my old neighborhood. I was around my old friends and everything and they were showing up in the dream and there was this light skinned shorty and she had a thick body man she had some nice big titties and a nice fat ass and I ain't gonna lie man I used to six months ago I'm not gonna lie if you guys are new to my channel um I used I um you guys could check the archives and see that I've changed my life to the Lord I used to um fornicate all right i used to fornicate heavy i used to just be on my red pill shit smash and dash pump and dump chicks being afraid of honest man it's ever since i got my house like four years ago i just been on a a, a fucking spree was, i'm gonna say like that but um excuse the profanity but it's gotta be up front um so in this vision i was messing around with this woman this light-skinned woman man she looked good she was wearing like this robe or this towel around her and she was just teasing everybody up in there because i was like yo man how you gonna walk around us dressed like that and you're not gonna give it up like i ain't doing none of that that's on you you know so she's just like showcasing her titties and her ass and i'm being i was able to smack her on a on a on a backside and um as the dream progressed, because there were other people around, so I don't know if she felt nervous to do certain things around them, or she wanted to get me separated from the rest of people, but as the dream progressed, she and me were alone, and we were in my kitchen of my old house, and she started giving me top, man, I ain't going front, man, fellatio. So when she started giving me top, she just whipped my shit out, started sucking my shit off, right? And like I seen in my mind's eye, the light and light started to go up into the sky while she giving me head. And I was hearing a voice telepathically speaking like a narrator. I guess it was God's voice. He was saying, and in that moment, the church was raptured up. I heard it clear as day. Say in that moment, the church was raptured up, and I woke up, and I was like, yo, what kind of vision is this? Like, even though she was giving me hair, I didn't even feel anything, because I just felt the lights going up in the air at that moment. And I woke up, and I went to go use the bathroom, and I went to go pray against the vision. And while I was praying, I heard a voice said, look, Neil need you to do a vision. I need you to do a video on this vision to warn my people. So I'm just giving y'all this vision right now. Like, you guys and ladies who are living in fornication. I'm not a hypocrite because I just told y'all at the end of this video. I said I used to live the whoremonger lifestyle. And people who know me, know my channel, know I, I, I give it to y'all raw. Like, I'm not ashamed to tell you about my past. Right? But... Right now, six months ago, the Lord had me go through a very serious um, situation in my life where I had to make a life-changing decision because God was like, yo, how could you walk with me and continue to live in sin? How could you walk with me and eat at the table of the Lord but then eat at the table of devils? You know, and I had to let go of all my friends with benefits, right? And ever since then, I just been living a purified, sanctified life. Now they may have women from time to time. They may hit up my jack and ask about me, and I gotta let them know, like, look, I'm sorry, sweetheart, gotta pass on it. I'm not on that time. I don't, I'm not no longer living that lifestyle. You feel what I'm saying? Had to delete all those pictures, delete all those messages, delete all those texts. I gotta delete all those numbers. 
man I even got to the point where I lost my whole Instagram account and my Facebook account so a lot of those people got lost anyway and I felt that was by design the most high God did that but I noticed yesterday I've been tested sexually meaning tempted I didn't go through with it or anything like that thank God um, but I noticed that I also had to block more people because those people link me back to the lifestyle that I used to live and I like what the Bible says evil communication corrupt good manners or good morals and you got to watch the people places and things that y'all guys and ladies are entertaining especially if you're walking with the Lord now if you in the world can hey, carry on but if you're a person that is looking for the Lord seeking the kingdom of God and seeking righteousness at this time and you happen to come across this video this should be an eye-opener like a lot of y'all guys are living in sin and, and a lot of you guys and ladies are living in fornication they're having sex without being married y'all living each, with each other in the same house and you're not married um you're having kids out of wedlock you're having abortions and like God has given me this vision Cause I had a lot of spirit spouse visions. That's a spirit spouse vision, by the way, where you having sex in your dream. That's called a spirit spouse. You understand? And the spirit spouses, their main objective is to distract you from the Lord's purpose in your life. They're trying to fill a void that cannot be filled. It only could be filled by the Most High God. Now, maybe some of you guys and ladies are single, and y'all are not in a relationship, and y'all probably had these wet dreams before. I suggest if you had these wet dreams, you need to pray and renounce those visions because they're not good visions. You're not supposed to be having sex in the dream. I'm just being honest with you. You're not supposed to be having sex in the dream. These are spirit spouse covenants. So you have to break those soul ties and covenants. Now, you could think about the type of people that come into your life. The type of people you have intimacy with. You need to break those soul ties because... Those people come with their demons and their demons show up and show up to you in the realms masquerading as those individuals. Right? Just giving y'all some game. Um, I felt God gave me this vision because he's coming back. And as many times he had told me in the vision, he said, Neil, I'm coming back from my church. And it's like in that moment while I was getting head, it was like the church was being raptured up. So anybody who was caught slipping, because that's the title of this video, if you get caught slipping, that's your ass. That's your ass. So you you, you don't want to play around with this time, man. We in a serious time right now. We in times where you got this virus running around rampant. They want to shut down, lock down places and stores and schools and stuff like that and then they want you to take that vaccination i told you guys and ladies about taking that vaccine that's that mark of that beast if you don't make it in these times in this rapture season I'm being honest with you you're gonna end up having to take that mark of the beast and you're gonna not be able to be redeemed if you get caught out here slipping i know right now you got a lot of thirsty thoughts out here I'm talking to you brothers. You got a lot of thirsty thoughts out here that just want to heat you up. Because yesterday, man, I had a sister that I, I, I was smashing a while back. A while back. I forgot about this sister. And I'm going to put her out here like that, you know, because that's personal business. But um, she, she texted me out of the blue. And this was a test because I told you I was being tested all day with this lust and fornication. And it's not surprising that. The enemy would send her my way, someone I already had a soul tie with, right? And I deleted her number a long time ago, but now she's hitting me up out of the blue. And I already know what it's about. She trying to get that, she trying to get that dick and that money. <laughs> Just be straight up. So I was like, nah, man, I'm say I don't remember you. I'm not on that time to be straight up honest with you. I already know what you're about. Like, let's cut let's cut to the chase. Let's get straight to the point. And I've noticed a lot more as I grow with God, especially in the six-month period of being cleansed and purified, be separate and set apart. My light has been growing 
and that's been attracting a lot of females. You guys are on the semen retention journey. And y'all y'all part of that red pill community, the manosphere. And you heard guys be talking about semen retention. It has a lot of powerful benefits, but also there's pros and cons to that. You gotta understand that, yeah, you're gonna attract women, but you're not gonna always attract good women. You're gonna attract bad women as well. They're all gonna be attracted to your light. And I can speak from first hand experience. Like, the more I grow with God in the Word and I and I don't fornicate and I don't masturbate and I don't entertain the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, bro. These sisters see my light, and I know it. They know it, and I know it. I'm not even, a sh I'm not like, yo, look, man. I might talk to women here and there. I might flirt, because that's my, that's my, that's my nature as a man. I'm a flirt, but I'm even trying to avoid that, too, because think about it. Bad communication corrupt your morals. That's lewd behavior, you know, and I repent. To the Most High God. Not only that, but I repent to y'all sisters as well for any lewd behavior on my behalf because I'm a leader and I have to set an example. You feel what I'm saying? And as I'm doing this video, I want to set an example for both you brothers and sisters. I used to live that whole among your lifestyle. It's not the easiest thing to overcome. And six months is not enough time for a brother to change his ways. Let's keep it real. You have to walk with God for a very very long time and you're human like the bible says your flesh is weak but your spirit is willing your flesh part of who you are is always going to be susceptible to sin it's always going to be susceptible to temptation this is why god said you must feed yourself the word daily you must have that bread of life he said, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God. If you brothers and sisters who say you have the Holy Spirit and walking with God, you're going to be tested. See, sex was one of my strongest vices. Right? So if I gave that up to walk with God, the enemy, which is those spirits in this realm, they're going to use that to try to bring me back in and also to keep a stronghold over my life. You understand? Because that was a stronghold over my life. I lost money behind this shit. I lost sleep behind this shit. I lost time behind that shit. Meaning time I cannot get back. Man. Real talk. I cannot get back that lost time. And that's why. Here's some red pill game for y'all. Think about father time. And think about mother nature. Women will always waste your time. Women will always try to get your time. They'll try to take up your time. They'll try to keep you all to themselves and not have you focus on your purpose. Brothers, I understand that y'all are thirsty. Some of y'all niggas out here is thirsty. But look, man, the greatest thing in life is getting to know God first. Think about Adam before Eve showed up. Adam was on his purpose. God was part of Adam's world. Is Adam's world. All God knew, all Adam knew was God before he even showed up. And he was like, yo, it was God that said, man should not be left alone. I will create him a suitable helpmate. So when you are on your purpose, man, that woman that God has had for you in the making before the foundation of the earth. She will come into your life at the appropriate time. You understand? But you have to be on your purpose. And right now, I feel like God's purpose all over the world. Our purpose is to get back to the Most High God. If you really sit here and see all these guys out here simping and shit, it's despicable. Guys crying over a woman leaving their lives. That is not... Normal that is not masculine. I I do not that shit that shit irritates my spirit, bro because How far have we fallen as a race? Sisters out here just starting it up Every single system now mostly 
I would say 80 to 90 percent of you sisters got uh, my only fans and don't sit here and lie and say you don't you probably do you might still have your regular job but y'all still have a my only fans and I'm telling you man you got to clean up your act I'm not sitting here being judgmental because I already told y'all my story it's not easy to walk with God no, it's not, but it's worth it. He said, those who endure to the end shall be saved. And I'm telling you, don't want to miss the rapture and be left behind because you couldn't control your lust. You couldn't control your dick. You couldn't control your pussy. You couldn't control it. You say, okay, it's my body, my choice. But when God raptures up his church and he leaves you behind, he's going to say, it's my choice. To leave you behind because you didn't respect the body I've given you. He said the body is the temple of the Lord. So as you say it is my body, my choice. Well, God will say because it was your choice to defile the body I've given you. Then it's also my choice to leave you behind. And woe to those who experience that moment. And you're left behind and then you have to deal with the Antichrist. Y'all might look at it and say, oh, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in God. I, I, I'm, I'm my own God. I'm my own goddess. Nah, man. Get out of it. All, all that new age teaching that those are doctrines of devils, man. And you brothers and sisters, I just had this vision. If I were you, I would repent for all the sexual partners you had. I would repent for all the sexual thoughts that you think on a day-to-day -day basis. This is deliverance time like God has given us the opportunity right now in this in this season to repent and get right we don't know how it's going to get in the next couple of months y'all worrying about celebrating Thanksgiving y'all worrying about celebrating Christmas if I were you I would start saving my money if I were you I would start getting on my knees and pray if you have not been born again in the name of Jesus Christ I suggest you go to a church and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ Make sure that the pastor is male and not female because a female cannot baptize you, right? I know some of y'all guys go to female churches, but stop. Look, you need to go to a church that's male, a male pastor, and get baptized in the name of Jesus. I'll give you, I'll give you a hit. You could hit up Geno Jennings and check up his churches. Check his website on YouTube and um, on Google. Type in the First Church of God. That's Geno Jennings Church has got different locations all over the world. Just check out the location where you're specifically at. And go to one of those churches over there they set up. And get baptized and, get, and set up an appointment to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man. You want to have the Holy Spirit. You don't, you don't want the mark of the beast. You want the seal of God. Which is what? It's Holy Spirit and living righteous. Time to stop playing around, brothers and sisters. I know y'all want to have your entanglements and hot girl summers and cuddle up falls and shit. But I'm, I'm being real, straight up, honest with y'all. This vision was specifically, not was just for me. But it was for you. Guys who are watching, because Most High told me to make a video about this. A lot of you guys are living in sin, sexual sin. And I know it's not easy to give it up because I'm telling you from my personal experience, it was not easy for me to give up my friends with benefits. It was not easy to delete those pictures off my phone and throw those condoms out of my house. It was not easy to let those things go because that was my addiction. It is my addiction. And it doesn't matter if I've been six months in, seven months in, a year in. Look, man, I'm only one blow job away from returning back to sin and that lifestyle I once used to live and when they say yo when you cast out a spirit it goes into unclean places it goes in no it goes into dry places to return it doesn't find rest it comes back to that house sees it vacant it comes back with seven more spirit more worse than the first right and it says that man state is worse than the first now why because when you clean up your life and you turn your life to God, but then you return back to the old lifestyle that you once lived, it's going to get worse. You might get a whole new addiction that you never had before. 
because you continue to live in sin and God makes you have a reprobate mind. He leads you to a reprobate mind because you find, he finds you unprofitable. And today's society, men and women of today, are unprofitable in the sight of the Lord. This is a wicked generation. This is a generation that reminds me of Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Noah. It says the end days would be like the days of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah. So, with all this sexual promiscuity, all these LGBT groups, all this sexual perversion that we see on social media every day, the lewd talking, the lewd behavior, we have to stop it, man. I'm just giving y'all this one. I'm not here to say, yo, what to do, tell you what to do, because I, I, if I was on the other end, still fornicating, and I, I probably wouldn't want to hear this message, but it's a wake-up call. If you guys are not... If y'all guys and ladies are living together and you're not married, I suggest you start setting up arrangements too. If you choose to be with that person for the rest of your life, especially if y'all got kids together. God honors marriage. This is another message I want to give to y'all too that I had. This is another vision. I had a vision the night before where God was telling me about, said God is in family. Right? And particularly, he was pointing out to black people. He said, black people, you know, family structures all messed up. Most, most family houses that are black are single mother households. Where are the fathers? The fathers have multiple households. And he's in none of those households. Yet all he has is bitter baby mothers. Is this the lifestyle that we're portraying in the media? Is this the society? The society knows that, yo, we're at the lowest of the low. And we like to say we Hebrew Israelites, which we are. Black black man and black woman in America, we are the true Hebrew Israelites. If we, we're, we're the true house of Israel, then we need to set a perfect example to the other nations that we are God's chosen. And you know us that we're God's chosen by the trouble that we're in. You cannot identify God's chosen people by any other way. You can't identify us by money. Because black people are broke as hell. Black people have been in slavery for over 400 years. If you read Deuteronomy 28, it talks about slavery. Black people are identified by their troubles and their persecution. That's how you identify God's people. And the only people that fit that description perfectly is black people, especially black African American black men and women in this country. And that was the download that I got the night before with God saying the three is in one. Father, mother, child. Father, mother, child. Just like God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit said the three is in one. He said I'm always in family. The enemy is trying to destroy the family structure. So when you women tell your kids that your daddy ain't shit, what are you perpetuating? Are you perpetuating the, the serpent seed or are you perpetuating God's will? Ask yourself that, ladies, because Satan's always used the woman against the man. Since from the beginning of time, it's right there, the evidence. I'm not speaking anything out of blasphemy. I'm not speaking anything out of being sexist. It's in your face. Most divorces is based on women. Trying to get over on the man. So sisters, if y'all gonna say y'all of the Lord, but y'all doing the will of your father the devil, y'all need to check yourselves. Brothers, if you gonna be just sleeping around with all these sisters and not committing to none of these sisters, you're doing the will of your father the devil. I gotta be equal and balanced in this. Y'all can't have sex with whoever you want. Sex is a marriage. It's the covenants. Every time you have sex with somebody, you're creating ungodly covenants. You know what's honorable to Lord? The marriage bed being undefiled. You feel what I'm saying? And you gotta understand every time that you have sex with somebody, you're entertaining not only ungodly covenants, but you're having spirit spouse. Masturbation, pornography. Look at all these things. My only fans is a big porn site. It's for porn addicts. These guys are paying hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars to watch women get naked. And it never satisfied the flesh. 
I don't have my only fans. Never have one. Never cared for it. I was never into that. I feel that's mad beta as hell. You understand? If you really want sex, you just might as well go up to a woman and say, Look, man, I'm not into relationships. I just want to smash your brains out. And I got this much. That's it. These women are willing to take it. As much as they say, oh, I'm not a whore and I'm not this, man. Y'all bitches take anything. If a nigga gave you money for free, you wouldn't turn that down. So why would you turn it down for sex? Y'all want sex as much as we do. Some of these guys and women don't even want to be in relationships. I'm not a relationship. When I was in the world fornicating, I don't care for relationships. Because my, my sex drive was too high. For relationships. But I ain't gonna run this video too long. Because I wanna go back in my bed. But just think about what I said, brothers and sisters. Um, we're in end times. The most high is coming back. And you don't want to get caught slipping out here. Entertaining fornication. Entertaining sexual immorality. And the day that you try to have sex is the day the Lord comes back for his church. You will be held accountable. And you will be left you'll be left with the rest of those people who didn't get raptured up. And then you can't say, Oh, I was a Christian, I follow your word. You spoke like what Jesus Christ said in Revelations. You speak my name through your lips, but your heart is far from me. Your actions show you who you are, not your words. And this is a lot of times y'all women and men do this all the time. Y'all say what y'all want to say because y'all want to hear. Y'all have itching ears. You tell people what they want to hear. But you don't, sh you don't show them what they need to see. You show them the opposite of what you say. Let your words be lining up with your actions. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I don't trust people's words. I want to see their actions. You can say, oh man, you insecure. Nah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wise. Because I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. People can say whatever they want in that moment. But you understand when you say certain things, it's like an oath. You guys are oath breakers, covenant breakers. Gotta repent. So with that being said, leave your comments in the comment section below. Catch you brothers and sisters in the next video. Peace.